Well, look, folks, welcome to the Donald J. Trump podcast, episode two, okay? And look, it's been a little bit of time between episode one, frankly, and episode two. But that's because, look, I mean, we're fighting the feds who came crashing into my house, treating me so unfairly when they should be looking into the last election, right? So I'm dealing with that. We're dealing with, look, we're finding ballots all over the place from the last election. We're looking forward to the next. We're endorsing people all over the place, and they're winning so strongly. And, you know, I'm raising a family, little Baron. We'll get to that later. I'm dealing with a guy who's trying to be me desperately. We call him Ron DeSantis, okay? Okay, I made you mayor, Ron, and governor, frankly, rather. And maybe you should stick to that, okay? I made you, and I could also, frankly, destroy you, okay? Right? Okay, because it's called, you know, if I'm the chef and I make the recipe, I could also put in some other ingredients, bing, bong, boom, and take you down, you know? So look, we're doing a lot of things, okay? And I'm not getting that much sleep, which is why our first sponsor is my pillow, okay? Because when you're dealing with all these things, like the crooked FBI, people trying to be you, you need a my pillow to fall asleep. And we've got you know, Mike, wonderful Mike Lindell sent over this. My pillow, patented interlocking, fill adjusts to your individual sleep needs. Can you believe it? Individual, right? Regardless of sleeping position, this machine washable and dryable, wow, tremendous. Innovative fill then holds that position all night long, right? So you could sleep so soundly, even if the FBI comes crashing through the doors and windows, you could still sleep. But not that we want to sleep through that, right? We want to wake up, but I mean, I could do that. But the average person, I don't know. But look, the point is you could sleep very strongly. Wonderful pillow, right? Do we love Mike? We love Mike. I could personally attest to the strength of that pillow. So many deals, okay? But look, we're getting billions of views on the podcast, okay? Billions of views all over the place. Lots of people watching, lots of people clicking like, subscribing, commenting below. It's tremendous. Even the haters, even the haters and losers, because they know that there's still a chance, right? We never give up. You can still win. You don't have to be a loser your whole life by watching the Donald J. Trump podcast, subscribing. We're going to have Patreon coming soon. You can become a Patreon. And then you could win, okay? There's still hope. But we've got all the people, Joe Rogan, trying to get on. We've got the Call Her Daddy podcast. These are the top people. You look at iTunes, Spotify, the top people. Call Her Daddy. You've got Ben Shapiro, right? That's a big one. And, you know, he knows. He says, Mr. Trump, the Jewish people love you. And he knows that. And look, look, I made a Jew, okay? A lot of people might not know. My daughter, Ivanka, is... A Jewish person, okay? I made a Jew from scratch. Most people, you know, to be Jewish, you know, you have to have Jewish parents. But I made, boom, bing, bong, boom. We made a Jewish person. So I'm very proud of that. And look, you know, the FBI, they come into my house, right? For what? For papers, okay? You've got the president's crooked son smoking crack. Okay, let's be real. The guy's smoking crack. You've got the laptop videos, Right there. Laptop videos. He's waving around a gun with the hookers, okay? Meanwhile, Donald J. Trump has a couple documents, right? Which I was trying to keep safe, declassified very strongly, okay? And believe it or not, I wanted to actually, because, look, I believe in environment. I wanted to recycle. We wanted to recycle the papers, right? And we have them here. We have some of them right here, and I'm going to get to that shortly. And I wanted to recycle them and turn them into MAGA hats, okay? Because, look, I believe in environment. And when we were in there, the trees, there were never so many trees. Water, right? We had water pouring in, clean water. California, they still had electricity now. California, it's very sad, but there's no electricity, right? They ran out. And it's because of sleepy Joe Biden. But look. You know, online, on the internet, they have unboxing, right? Unboxing. We've got a whole box here, right? We've got a whole box. Very strongly. We call it documents, right? Declassified. And look, 
We've got some right here. We're doing an unboxing for the American people. Let's see what we got here, right? So, ooh, it's a little information about Sleepy Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe Biden, this is from the Pentagon, picks his nose and eats it. Wow, can you believe that? I think we're keeping this one for the, uh, for the election very strongly, but wow, that's some very interesting stuff. And then we got another one here. Hang on, wait, right here. Sleepy Joe Biden contracted the monkeypox. Wow, a monkey, Biden has the monkeypox. Can you believe it? The fake news won't report it, but it's very interesting because I heard, you know, the monkeypox comes from uh, gay activity, which it's, it's okay. I mean, look, I don't judge if the guy wants to be, you know, gay. I mean, he has a wife, right? He does have a wife, but, and I have a tremendous relationship with the L G. B, D, Q, people. But I mean, look, if you're going to be gay, maybe you should come out and say it, right? To the American people, you know? And look, we're selling, by the way, this is how strong of a relationship we have. I call it the alphabet community. We've got rainbow MAGA hats, okay? We're selling them going like hotcakes because the gay people know, okay? But that's very interesting that Biden happens to be gay. Wow. We didn't know that. That's something else. But, uh, and look, a lot of people don't know that, look, when the FBI came in, Barron had actually, he's such a fan of the Home Alone films that I was in Home Alone 2, right? The best Christmas movie of all time. Barron set up booby traps like Little McCully. They came in and Barron was protecting him because he loves his dad. And Barron's a good kid. Actually, he brought home another girl the other day. I remember on episode one, we talked about how Barron brought over this girl, and her mother was a crooked Hillary supporter. But now little Baron brings over this girl, right? Cute girl, very nice. And she comes in, and I say, oh, hello, young lady. And she goes, excuse me, sir, uh, it's they. And I'm like, they? I only see one person, right? You and Baron. And she goes, uh, Mr. Uh, Trump, uh, I identify as both genders, and I'm like, hmm, well, that's interesting. And I call Baron aside, and I'm like, Baron, uh, you're dating a head case, okay? This is a mental patient. This is like another, like, Amber Heard, okay? Like, and look, I don't want to, you know, sometimes they have to learn for themselves, but I say to him, I look, look, if you want to end up with poop in your bed, okay, and being lawsuits and accused of things all over the place, false accusations, then stay with this lunatic, Okay. But if you want to win big like dad and marry a winner like beautiful Melania, then you're going to have to dump this girl. And he said, okay, dad, and he let her go. All right, look, you could be, look, you could be a boy, you could be a girl. I mean, there's been he, she's since the beginning of time. That, But you can't be both, okay? You can't be both. And you can't compete in women's and men's sports. It's a disgrace. But the kid's learning, and, uh, you know, he's a great kid. And uh, and that's okay, right? That's okay. So anyways, look, back to DeSantis, okay? Look, great guy, right? Good governor, right? Doing deals for the state of Florida. Okay, but that's one state, okay? I was leading all 50, okay? It goes back to, look, basics, okay? 48 laws of power. Don't outshine the master, okay? And I'm the master because, Ron, I made you. I made you, Ron, okay? My endorsement put you over the top, before I endorsed you, he was way, way down in the polls. And look, it's like he's copying, right? The guy, you see him wearing red ties now. He never wore red ties. He's doing the, I move my hands, right? Because it's called expression, right? I'm very expressive because I'm passionate, right? Because I've got strength and stamina. So all of a sudden, the guy's got a little energy boost. He's wearing red ties. He's moving his hands. It's like, okay. It's like when a hit movie comes out, a blockbuster, a hit that everyone goes to see, like Top Gun, right? Top Gun comes out, and then everybody wants to do a Top Gun knockoff. We call it knockoff, right? It's like you got one star, and then everybody else is trickled down, right? We call it trickled down. Like you've got Michael Jackson, who, by the way, was a friend of mine very strongly. But then you got after he kind of fades a little... And you got NSYNC and Usher and Justin Bieber and Chris Brown. They're all trying to be Michael. 
but there's only one king, okay? And that's what I'll say to Ron, uh, to Ron, okay? There can only be one king, and just as quickly as I made you, I could crush you just as strongly, right? It's like with Kanye, right? You see, speaking of news, Kanye's in the news. Adidas is making them billions and billions of dollars, right? Like the U.S. does with China. And then they steal his designs of his shoe, right? Behind his back, same thing with Gap. They're stealing, they're making money off his name. And he went on Instagram, bing, bong, boom. And he showed them who's boss. Because look, Kanye's like me, right? He knows how to win, okay? And I have a tremendous relationship with Kanye, right? By the way. Easy is another sponsor of this program, okay? The Easy Shoes, tremendous. I wear them. My children wear them. But anyways, look. <clears throat> Kanye knows you can't let these people win. And I'm thinking very strongly of making Kanye my vice presidential candidate, okay? Because you got the old guy. I call him Judas. Judas Pence. Mike. Mike Pence. I saw in the news, you could Google it, uh, He's living in a tent now, Mike Pence. Yeah, the guy's living, and they found him in a tent. They call it Tent City in Austin, Texas, okay? He's all unshaven. Very sad what happened to Mike. And look, Mike, he lost his faith, too, in God, okay? Believe me, I know God very strongly. Mike was always sort of a Christian guy, right? Church going every Sunday, right? I, I try to go, but, you know, I'm, I'm winning for the country. But anyways, Mike, they had him on tape saying, I hate Jesus. Could you believe that? I love Jesus. Trump loves Jesus. In fact, my two favorite books, just like I said last, Art of the Deal and the Bible, we're selling them, Trump.com, we're combining the two, Art of the Bible, very strongly. And speaking of books, so poor Mike Pence, you know, we wish him luck, not really. But uh, speaking of books, our other sponsor, uh, Diamond and Silk, go to www dot diamond and silk inc dot com and buy their book uprising the awakening of diamond and silk using the code trump one you see it right here trump one and you know nobody knows books okay like i just like i know books okay believe me my top three favorite books of all time are the bible because i believe in the jesus very bigly the art of the deal and then uprising by diamond and silk you could get a signed copy so bigly, okay? And I'm doing so well. And they tell me, Kanye tells me, Diamond and Silk tell me, they say, you know, the African American community, they're realizing very bigly that I did a lot of things for them. And what the hell is Sleepy Joe doing besides sleeping for the black community, okay? It's a disgrace. But look, we're coming back so strongly, okay? That I could tell you. But Kanye is winning with Gap. And look, Look, it's called real news versus fake news, okay? People know that the news media, not to trust them anymore, but I get my news from two places, okay? Two places, they're never wrong, and it's Hood Ratchet TV. You can find them on Instagram. And look, TMZ, believe it or not. Because look, TMZ, right? When you have a celebrity, right, that passes away, they're always the first to know. I think the TMZ people are onto something that nobody else is into, frankly, because you got somebody dies that second, they got it on TMZ. Uh, so that's where I get my news. And we've got some very interesting news on those sites, and we're going to get to that next, frankly, very strongly. But don't forget to like. You're going to click that like button, and you're going to subscribe, okay? And we're going to subscribe so strongly, and we're going to comment below that I could tell you. So look, folks, first news story. We've got a car that was filled with stolen ballots in New York City. It was apprehended by a patriot, okay? And we've got the video right here. We're going to play the video for the people at home. Okay, viewer discretion advised, okay? That I can tell you very strongly. Wow. Look at that car go.
Wow. I mean, look at that car go, right? Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. But the ballots, thankfully, were recovered, right? By a patriot. Happened to be an African-American patriot, and he delivered them to me and Rudy at Mar-a-Lago very strongly. Actually, we have a video of me. I was meeting with Rudy just this past week, and roll the tape, folks. Roll the tape. And look, folks, we're here with Rudy so strong. America's mayor, and we're winning so big. And we're going to come back so strong. Oh, and that was Rudy, and look, he's doing so well, and we're doing so many deals. But look, New York, right? New York City, a city which was once great. Now it's just filled with fentanyl. You've got, look, the sick radical left. They said at the Macy's, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, they wanted to get rid of Santa Claus and replace them with, get this, fentanyl Claus. Can you believe it? These are sick people. Okay, these are sick people. We're defeating them. We're defeating the wokists, right? Everything woke turns to shit. Isn't that true? Including Santa Claus, right? I mean, even poor Santa, right? You'd think Santa would be the one thing that they wouldn't touch. But no, they're trying to tear down all our heroes, including Santa. It's a disgrace. But look, in the news, right? We've got crazy news. I'm hearing Black China made $240 million on the OnlyFans. Right? And I said, what's this OnlyFans? They say, it's photos. I say, hmm, interesting, very interesting. And then you've got Bahad Bahabi, right? Have you heard about this? This young woman named Bahad Bahabi, she rose to prominence on the Dr. Phil program, right? Not a big fan of Dr. Phil, but uh, threatening her mother, right? She said, cash me outside, how about that, Right? Cash me outside. How about that? Now she's making millions, 50 million. And I saw somebody commenting on the internet, wow, maybe Melania should get on OnlyFans, right? And I say, well, that's not for her. Okay, we've got billions and billions of dollars. We don't need the OnlyFans money. But, you know, it's, you know, something to perhaps, frankly, think about. I mean, but look, I mean, let's just say this. If you had Melania, right? Beautiful Melania. If she got on OnlyFans, I think she'd make a lot more than Bad Behaby and Black China, okay? I think also, I mean, could you imagine in terms, as far as first ladies go, I mean, what first lady, comment below, who do you think would make more money, and frankly, on OnlyFans, right? You've got Jill Biden, right? That's a real beauty, Jill, or Melania. Who do you think? Comment below. Maybe we'll set up a poll on Twitter. Who would make more money, frankly, on the OnlyFans, Melania or Jill? I think Melania would make more money. I think she'd make more than Behead Baby and Jill and Black China all combined, right? Billions, billions and billions, right? Because everything Trump touches turns to gold, right? So strongly, right? And then you've got also in the news, you've got rapper, right? Fetty Wap, right? And look, I have a tremendous relationship with the rap community, okay? Very strongly. We got Lil Wayne free, right, the pardon. We got Kodak Black, right, we got him out. And now you've got Fetty Wap, five years. They sentenced him five years. I don't know what the details are, but I'm sure he was unfairly persecuted. And we're going to get him out when we get back in. I mean, how many rappers has Sleepy Joe Biden gotten out of jail? I don't think any, okay? I don't think he's gotten a single rapper out. And the rap community, they know. They know that Trump is in their corner. Also in the news, you've got this thing, this controversy controversy with Olivia Wilde, who frankly I think is another uh, another Amber Heard situation, another Amber Turd, and she fired Shia LaBeouf. I don't know much about this Shia guy, but he just found God, right? Do we love God? We love God very strongly. And she put in her boyfriend, this guy, Harry Styles, the guy masquerading around, wearing dresses all over the place, said, look, I mean, look, if you want to wear a dress, look, you can wear a dress, right? We call it free country. But it used to be somebody would wear a dress and it'd be peculiar, okay? Right? Now everyone's got to wear a dress. Now it's if you don't wear a dress, now you're like a loser, okay? So if I had to choose between Shia, frankly, LaBeouf, and I remember the kids, little Ivanka, she used to love his show, on the Disney Channel, right? Shia LaBeouf. And, but, you know, 
You got Harry Styles there. He's wear, he's wearing dresses. He's doing this dance. He's licking the thumbs. I don't know what the hell. Why does he got to lick the thumbs, right? Great to Gene Kelly, Jackie, you know, all the, you know, you got, you know, the guys, the classics. They never had to do some weird thumb licking dance. And of course, me, I popularized my dances, sweeping the nation, frankly, the world, the right, to the YMCA. That's a classic, right? We don't need new. We got the classics just tremendous. But look, I'm rooting for Sh uh, Shia, frankly, LaBeouf in that. We don't know what the hell's going on with Harry, but, you know, we're looking into it very strongly. And uh, look, we want to make movies great again, okay? We want to bring back Clint Eastwood, right? Maybe she should cast Clint in that. I think Clint would do a great job. Okay, that I can tell you. You never saw Clint wearing a dress, right? Never saw him wearing a dress. He would come out guns blazing so strongly, but now they're all in dresses. We don't know what the hell is going on. That I could tell you. So look, so in other news, you got Elon, right? Tried to buy Twitter. This was a little way back, but we should talk about it, right? Elon tries to buy Twitter, which, by the way, is a failing company. Complete the stocks are way down, filled with bots, which Elon figured out, right? A little too late right? Think he lost a billion there, but look, Elon, I was rooting for Elon, okay? Until he decided to criticize me out of nowhere, right? We had a tremendous relationship when I was in office. I helped, I gave him tax cuts and he goes, he tells me that I should hang up my hat and sail off into the sunset. Look, Elon, okay? I wish I could do that, but I need to fight for the people, for the country, right? I need to take back the country, okay? Perhaps you could fly off to Mars, right? Stick with rockets, okay? When you're in the rocket business, okay, maybe just stick to flying around space, okay? And maybe not try to own Twitter or, you know, and by the way, the Tesla, right? That's another beauty. The cars, people think it's good. It's not so good. These things die in the middle of the road. I had a friend of mine, good friend, right? I won't mention his name, but he almost died because he got stranded in the middle of nowhere with the Tesla. Okay, luckily a gas car sent by me rescued him. But, you know, Elon, he thinks he's some hot shot, you know? Not so much, Elon, not so much, okay? Maybe you could be president one day of Mars or Venus or Saturn, right, with the ring, but not here, okay? That's never going to happen, okay? Maybe we could send you and Ron DeSantis up there to run for governor or something, okay? Believe me. But, uh, you know, it's September, right? Good time of year, right? Good time, right? The beginning of, right, the reset. Back to school. Kids are going back to school. Some of them for the first time since the, I won't use the word, right? I'll be politically correct, the COVID-19. A lot of these kids, it's their first time taking off a mask and going to school since COVID, okay? The radical left made them keep the masks on. Some of these kids, I'm hearing, they forgot how to speak English, okay? A very prominent woman in the media who was saying, oh, get 55 shots. Her kids, they forgot how to wear. Some of them are psychologically scarred, right? They're emo they were isolated. They're dealing with mental problems like Elon, right? It's not good. Well, it's look, it's an absolute disgrace what's happening with the education. But look, when we get back in, right, back into the presidency, we're going to make education great again, right? We're going to introduce my book, Think Big, into the curriculum, right? Think big. Look at that. So strongly. And look, if I had a book like this, this is actually my fourth favorite book of all time, right? It's The Bible, Art of the Deal. Uprising the Awakening by Diamond and Silk, as mentioned earlier, very strongly used promo code, Trump won. And then think big. Because look, if I had a book like this when I was a little tot, right? Little tiny tot. I would have been president much earlier than even I was, okay? Believe me. And look, it's a tremendous thing. And people are coming up to me all over. I go all over the place. I go to my rallies. We were just in Pennsylvania, tremendous crowd, 10,000 people in the arena. After Biden's hell speech, I call it the hell speech, right? He stood there with that red background looking like the devil, right? Talk about optics, right? Look, I know optics. Okay, nobody knows optics, whether it's the hat, the cover of that book. 
it's all about image, but Biden, he doesn't know, he doesn't know what the hell's going on, right? They just wake him up from his nap, give him some Adderall and push him out there. So they say, read off this cue card, sign right here. He goes, oh, okay. Guy doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's falling off bikes like his poll numbers, falling down hard and fast. It's a disgrace. But anyways, the people of this country, they say, thank you for giving us entertainment with your new podcast, right? Because look, television has fallen apart, right? Since The Apprentice, what the hell do people have to watch? What are they going to watch? What are they going to watch? What, The Bachelor? I mean, The Bachelor fell apart when they fired Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison was a winner. He would come out there, you know, might have been some corny stuff, but he was a great host. But they got rid of him because, I mean, look, it went down with Colton, right? Colton the whole time. I mean, he was pretending he was posing as a straight heterosexual guy, right? I know, okay, look, no, I got, I've, they call it gaydar, right? I have tremendous gaydar growing up in New York, you know, you know. And I would say, look at Colton, that guy, right? He's gay. And then he had a mental breakdown, right? He was stalking the woman, right? Poor woman, we forget the name, but, and then it turns out he's gay, I say, I called it. And then you had Matt James, the worst bachelor of all time, right? He, first off, they said they, Put him there because the, we, the first black bachelor, look, I know black people, that's not a black guy. That's, he's what we call an Oreo, okay? Black on the outside, white on the inside. I know, look, Kanye, that's a black guy. Okay, Matt James, not a black guy. Okay, uh, what's her name? Kamala Harris, not black. Matt James, not black. And then he's in the position where he has to, you know, they went after Rachel because of the old time costumes. They don't know. These are young people. They don't know. And then he has to say, oh, I'm dumping you. And then all of a sudden, he takes her back. So fake. The guy's a disgrace. Then Chris Harrison defends Rachel. Then they fire Chris. And now he's hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, right? That nobody's watched that show in 20 years. Not since Regis left, right? Regis made that show great. Now it's Chris Harrison. It's a sad state of affairs, right? Frankly, it's a disgrace, right? I mean, talk about a show, talk about hanging up a hat and riding off into the sunset. Who wants to be a millionaire? That show should hang up its hat. They should bring Chris Harrison. They should hire me as a producer because nobody knows entertainment, okay? Like I know entertainment, okay? That I can tell you very strongly. But look, there's this new thing they're talking about, right? New thing. You're seeing it all over the place. They're talking about it on the internet, on Truth Social, which, by the way, is doing so well. They call it quiet quitting, right? Quiet quitting. It's when you're still showing up, right? You're going to work, but mentally you've checked out. And as soon as I heard the term, I thought of Sleepy Joe Biden. Ooh. I thought of Sleepy Joe Biden, and I said, that's a guy who quiet quit about 80 years ago, okay? I think he came out of the womb, quietly quit. I mean, I think this rumor's going around that when Sleepy Joe was born, he was actually born asleep. They thought he was stillborn. They thought he was dead. But they shook him. They said, wake up, little Sleepy Joe. And then he woke up. That's actually where the nickname, frankly, Sleepy Joe came from. It's when he was born, because he was born asleep. And he slept through his whole life, and he slept all the way till now. But luckily, you've got me. I'm waking up the American people. And look, we're working so hard with Rudy. You saw me with Rudy. Working very diligently. We're waking up the people. We're waking up the children of America with Think Big, okay? And look, we're going to take back the country so strongly, and we're going to win so big. And I want you to press like on this video. I want you to comment below and subscribe. And look... It's going to be the best podcast. It's going to be higher than Joe Rogan, higher than Call Her Daddy. It's going to be higher than Ben Shapiro. Frankly, we're going to be number one, and we already are. We already are, and we're winning so big. We're going to make TV great again with The Bachelor. We're going to bring back Chris Harrison. We're going to get rid of the old shows like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You know, and we're going to bring back the greats. And frankly, look, we're making podcasting great again. We're going to make... The country great again, again, frankly. And look, together, we're going to make the whole world great again. And frankly, it's going to be so huge. And you're right there with me. Watch this podcast. This was only episode two. Episode three is going to get better. We're going to have guests on from all over the place. 
I'm going to be interviewing your favorite people and maybe some people you know, some people, new people that you didn't even know about. But we're going to do it, and we're going to do it so strongly, and we're going to make this whole industry great again. We're going to make YouTube great again, right? We're going to bring back freedom. And look, together, we're going to win so big that I could tell you, episode two, subscribe so strongly. And episode three is going to be one week from today, right? We're going to be on schedule, right? Under budget and ahead of schedule. It's what we did with the country, and we're going to do it with the podcast. And look, together, we're going to win so big that I could tell you, tune in next week. Share the podcast. Tell your friends. Tell your family. It's going to be so big, and we're going to share the success together. That I could tell you so bigly, so many deals. We're going to win so big. And never forget to think big. Art of the deal. Negotiate. You're going to win so big. We're doing deals, and you're going to do deals all over the place. And, of course, the number one book, right? The good book. Maybe if Mike Pence would have read this a little more often, he wouldn't be living in a tent right now. But the Holy Bible, we love, we believe in the Jesus so strongly he sacrificed himself for the good of the world and some could say I'm sacrificing myself to make America great again we love you good night one last thing how could I forget another sponsor go to www.trumpbobblehead.com buy a Trump bobblehead we're raising money to bail Steve Bannon out of prison and also some reconstructive surgery on the face so he could be handsome like Trump. Speaking of handsome, look at that face. Can you? Can, have you seen a more handsome face than that face right there? Look at that beautiful bobblehead. Buy a Trump bobblehead. They're a sponsor of the show. It's for a good cause, right? Steve Bannon, I tried to help him out. He got into some trouble, but that's okay because... They're treating him so unfairly, just like me. So get a Trump bobblehead. It's going to be so big. Trump bobblehead. Trumpbobblehead.com. Tune in next week. So many deals. Winning so strongly. So bigly. It's going to be huge. Believe me. Good night.